Ralphie approved. Revolutionary. Huge. Ginormous. Costs more money than what you think. Such a big project. Really stressed out. It's really expensive. Dream shop right here. I'm done. Chainsaw and kids with bare feet. The Lip Popper 9000. 30 total. It's finally here. 120 feet. Hard on the envelope. Wow. This you got him in four low? This guy's already driving. Right. Squeezy on the dozer. Exciting times. Wow. <laughs> Look at this. Perry pile jerk. You're on holy ground? How many people get to do it? I knew it. Be building no time, huh? Cost a bunch of money. Got some dirt on them. It's exciting. It's getting serious now. Digger 9000 on the front. Where are you headed? Let's awesome. see if it turns out. That's a get her done right there. So tall. She big. Bird on her GoPro. The pointer? Still squeezy corner. Yeah, I <laughs> I'm just very blessed. Monster big, isn't it? The Coliseum. A dozen people. It's getting serious. I'm kind of cheap. Construction site's crazy. <laughs> $3,400. Wow, isn't that crazy? So tall. Paid off our debts. Look at that. Oh my. This doesn't seem real. Like a dream come true. After I got out of the hospital. Two stories eventually. I don't really do well with tear the building down. Man, I should have built it bigger. <laughs> Clean room. Oh wow. Oh me. This thing's massive. I don't know what to say. It's getting serious. Ah. My brain's not. You know. Get her done. Exciting. Make some sacrifices. And expensive. <laughs> in the dry now. I'm so excited. Pour in the rain. Full of just crap. <laughs> Impeccable. I'm proud. I love it. Huge. It's a squeezy corner. Yeah, I love it. Scary too. I'm really excited about it. Keeps critters out. Way bigger. Rocky door. Yeah. A little bit scared. We're gonna be booking it. Come on, buddy. Oh my gosh. There wow. goes your finger. Lips smacking good. Welcome back to the Sleeper Dude YouTube channel. If you watch our channel any time at all, you know we got like 30 project vehicles and we have a shop that we cannot fit nearly that many vehicles in. And what happens is when you have that many projects and you're doing YouTube and you try to make a video every week, you end up having so many parts that are for upcoming projects that you just run out of room for storage. We got stuff stored in the barn. We got stuff stored in our house. We got a storage van and everything. So in this video, we're gonna show you what we've been working on over the last few months, trying to build a new shop. And it took several months to get to this point right here. And we're really excited about it. It's really something I never thought that we'd be able to do, but we're gonna show you the building process on our building, talk to you about the dimensions and everything and the cost of this. It's pretty interesting watching this building go up in time lapse. They work a whole day and it's a minute and a half of video. It's really crazy. But let's rewind back to a few months months ago and show you the start of this process and what we've done to get to this point with our building. Woo! So now we got some of the cars moved out of the way. We're gonna have to go ahead and build a fence across through here so that we can block off this side of the field where we're gonna be working, building and everything from this side of the field over here where the barn is and stuff. So we're gonna work on building a fence right down through here today. And then we're going to eventually tear this fence down so that the bulldozers and stuff can come in here and level everything out. So let's get started. How's it coming? I see you got a helper in the truck. <laughs> we got a chainsaw and kids with bare feet. We're gonna tear this fence down. So we've got our gate up now. We got all our electric hooked up. We got the Lip Popper 9000 plugged into the wall. Yes. What we gotta do now is everything from this corner over has to come down pretty much to the gate over there. And we need to pull all these fence posts up out of the ground as well. We need to move these cars, maybe not the Vet, but the Savoy, the Metro Might, and the F100 need to move, which is no problem. The easiest way to move these is I'm gonna cut the last little inch off of each one of these boards so we don't have to take them loose because these are like 20 year old boards. Let's get started. Rocky Jr.'s Maddie can't come over here anymore. When we get the building done, we'll fix the fence and you can come over here, okay? Uh, 
Well, that was a lot quicker and easier than trying to get 20 year old rusted screws out. Yes. So we're gonna try to reuse as much of this as we can. But look how big our yard is now. How cool is that, huh? So we just gotta move these cars out of the way and the dozer is supposed to be here in uh, less than a week. Woo! living his best life out here. <laughs> He's usually scared to come out in the field, isn't he? Yeah, he is. got our own little parking area out here for a little while out in the field now don't worry if you see a car out here that you thought hey this thing's a runner driver they are about half of them are runner drivers but we had to make room for them to work and room to mow in the yard and stuff and get their equipment through our yard so this is only temporary what do we got how many out here is there 16 out here 16 out here me and ralphie count there's 30 total is it a junkyard maybe a junkyard it's a Fixed yard. It's fixed. All right, it's a couple days later. They just called us. It's almost dark. And they said, we're going to be here in the morning with a bulldozer to do your pad. So we're cutting the fence so they can come in through here because they can't make it to the end of the driveway. They said, all right, back up, kids. We spent so much time making this fence <laughs> when we moved here. It, it hurts. It hurts so bad. It's been days. All right, let's start taking it down, guys. But we've been needing to replace that one for a while, haven't we? Yeah. yeah. Did this is your passage. Oh, hold oh, on, oh, hold on. You're just making a mess, boy. Free barbed wire. All you gotta do is untangle it. Well, there you go. We got a clear pathway now for them to get in. Man, it's gonna be weird to have like this thing I'm actually excited. starting. I'm excited. It seems like it's been a long time talking about it, and yeah. it's finally here. It's finally here. We need to change that fence anyway. Yeah. Once we get done, we'll put some better fencing up. Bulldozer in the morning. I look out the window; they're already here dozing. So it started. It's gonna look different by the end of the day. We'll see how this goes. I wonder how long it'll take them to make it flat. I don't know. The plan is we're still gonna come in through here. They're supposed to be helping fill in right there where it's low, but past that tree. 120 feet down that way, 40 feet wide. We tried to put it on a, a spot where it would drain all directions so we don't have any water issues, hopefully. We'll see how this goes. Well, I'm gonna be in here editing, trying to make a living to, to pay for this. It's gonna be hard on the envelope. Well, we got four hours of dirt work done here on the first day and it started raining on, but man, look how much they've done already. Tell you what. Is that crazy? It don't take them no time, so. And they left the keys in it. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I told them they don't want me on. I'd probably mess it all up, but we'd end up having another pond or something. Yeah. All right, well, they'll be back when the rain stops. We'll see what the kids think when they get home. They don't know they're gonna be here today. Oh! What do you think? What? what? I need to look out here. What? They've done it. Whoa. This is like a dang hill. Oh. Wow. This thing's going to be huge. <laughs> yeah, we got a steeper hill now. This is the only side I'm worried about water things going on is this side because it's turned towards the building. Squeeze, you know what you could do over here right now? Metal detecting. Looking for arrowheads too. You got them in four low? No. <laughs> you better yet. kick them in sport <laughs> mode there. Look at the colors in the dirt. Isn't that weird? Oh, look at this. This guy's already driving. Hey, he said he left the keys in it. Don't be turning that thing on. He did. <laughs> it's a big boy, isn't it? Yeah. 
so it's gonna be longer than this guys this is probably i think they said this is about a close to 100 feet it's gonna be 20 feet longer than this so probably be out there where that really dark dirt is it's so weird like uh, it's so weird it's it, gonna set kind of this way a little bit of an angle like that yeah make it a little easier to get in and out what is that that's a workout oh okay do you approve of this yes well we got squeezy on the dozer don't be turning no keys now girl exciting times huh Ralphie just wants to see a concrete pad so he can drive go-karts on it or something, I think. That's all he's really worried about. I'm just worried about keeping those cars from rotting down. That's what I'm worried about. That's why I'm doing all this. Well, we went to run some errands and come back and they've done all this work. They got a lot done. They took my tree down. Oh, your tree. Day two of dirt work. Getting bigger, getting flatter. So that thing shakes and Puts a bunch of weight on it and packs it all down so our pad will be compacted so we can put concrete on it. At least that's what they tell me. You like him watching the bulldozer go by? Yeah. It's pretty cool, isn't it? Yeah. Hey, you got a sweet ramp now, don't you? And they cut it down a bunch, didn't they? Yeah. Here's another half day's worth of work. It's amazing what a bulldozer can do in a day. I don't know exactly how long it is right now, but obviously it's still not perfectly level yet. So I guess they'll be back. I didn't get a chance to talk to him before they left. Ralphie, can you believe there's gonna be a shop here? No. Crazy, huh? Yeah. Maybe we could find something cool in the dirt, huh? My grandpa always would get arrowheads after he would plow the fields and stuff. It'd be cool to find something like that here. Look how hot is out here. Especially out here, it's gotta be five or six feet higher than what it was, huh? And it's cut down a bunch there. Man, it's gonna be nice when it's done. I can't wait. Oh, can you get it? <laughs> Valiant effort, sir. I'll tell you one thing, they leave the keys in that little orange thing and I'd be working on We're something with it. Around in it. Yeah. So they're having to come on up this way and dig some more dirt out because this pad really needs to be about 140 feet long and before they start this, it's about 100 feet long. But maybe by the end of the day, we'll have a pad ready. Who knows? I'm a stalking a victim. Oh. Man, it's getting big today, isn't it? Our yard just jumps off this Wow. It's so much bigger today. Our yard. Look at that. So wow. We're we'll probably going to have some kind of drainage ditch right down through here, I bet. Yeah. Help water drain. It looks like he's kind of cut one, hasn't he? Yeah, I think he has. Scooter, what are you doing? <laughs> Man, it looks so much better, though, doesn't it? Yeah. They slope this off a little bit smoother for us filled in a bunch there more room to pull into the shop i feel like it's gonna gonna be slow and then once they start building it's just gonna be all up at once you know yeah that's how the other one was wasn't it yeah. so after they staked everything out the stakes out there i don't know if you can tell are right at the edge of the dirt where it falls off which you could build it that way but it sure would be nice to have more room especially pulling into those last bays because the bay doors are going to be on this side and have ladders or whatever working on it they need some more dirt so they said are we okay with taking this fence out right here even more because there's a kind of a dirt mound here so we're going to take out all this fence right here so they can move some of this dirt down there on that end and kind of make a driveway right here so it'll make it a little easier to get in the shop so I'm gonna get the chainsaw and take down this fence just like we did the other piece. Well, 
Well, that didn't take no time. Those posts are pretty easy to get out once you get the slats out in the middle. Now they got a little bit more dirt to work with down there. As with everything building a building, it's taking, you know, more work than they thought to do the dirt work, so. Oh man, look at this. We got a big trailer in here with 40 foot long trusses. Man, they already mark them for where the screws go, I guess, or something. They're gonna try to sneak them down here by the pad. That's cool. That's way different than this building. This building was all metal, you know? Should be going up quick now. Exciting, huh? Yes, awesome. 40 foot long trusses. We never had nothing like this delivered, no. have we? No. I guess they'll just slide right off there, won't they? It's got rollers, yeah, looks like it. We need one of them beds right there. <laughs> That'd be easier to unload a car, wouldn't it? Slide right off here, you pile of junk. Yeah. You taking your shoes off? You're on holy ground? Is that what's going on here? No, all in the comments on the dirt now. Check out the trusses, bro. That's the roof. I didn't even know he was going to do this today. I thought he was just sitting the trusses down. I turn around and he's pushed all this dirt over here. <laughs> I knew it. Look, like I can slide. Oh. Supposedly they're supposed to be here next week to start building. But you got a fork. <laughs> you got French feet. It's crazy how they just take a bunch of boards and put them together with these oh, and got a roof. Be building in no time, huh? Yeah, that's what they say. I'm glad I'm not having to put them up. I know, right? You'll be getting splinters in them piggies. No, I just got some dirt on them. Oh, and the dirt keeps the splinters out, don't it? Well, they're back at it this morning. Gonna try to add like 20 feet of dirt from here down there at the end. And he says we should have the dirt work done today. They got all my poles and my lumber at their place, and they should be here next week to start building. It's exciting. Let's see what they get done today. Uh, it's been a few days. They're back here packing it again, trying to make sure all of our dirt is good to go before they start building. I think the pad's pretty much done though. Oh, it's getting serious now. Time for some poles. So they said that they're gonna be starting in the morning, Ralphie. They are? They're gonna be digging holes and putting poles in the morning. That big of a hole? Yeah, look at that. It's crazy, huh? They're oh, yeah. eight by eights. Oh yeah. But then they gotta, you know, fill in around them, so. But when you come home from school tomorrow evening, there'll probably be a bunch of poles here. Yeah. We need that tractor, huh? Four by four. Look, it's got a forklift attachment in the back. Digger 9000 on the front. They'll probably have all the poles in tomorrow, won't they? I was just thinking where else I need holes done. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, it'd be a good time, huh? I don't think you need any holes that big, Doug. Oh, uh, Ralphie, and then we're gonna climb on everything. Your head off. Right into it? Oh, gosh, man. Hey, where are you headed? Dude. Bro? All right, we'll see how this goes tomorrow. Woo! Well, I spent like the last hour or so finally putting it down on paper what I want it to look like. The good, day before? Yeah, good timing. It's sunset the day before they're gonna build it, but this is what the front should look like. So it's gonna have two 12 by 12 doors and eight 10 by 10 doors because I wanted plenty of access. So that's gonna be facing this way. And this is how the floor is gonna be set up. At the very back corner back there, we want a parts storage room that's gonna be two stories and also have like an engine building room that's two stories. And over here in this corner, put a big drain out going that way and that's gonna be our wash bay so we can do cleanup videos inside the building in the middle of the winter time or when Yay. it's raining or dark. That's been a real problem for us in the winter time. And then we got water coming in and power coming in and internet coming in. That end down there has got a walk-in door and a window and this end has a walk-in door and a window. That's the plan. We'll awesome. see if it turns out. <laughs> Look at this. We got a camper coming in here. <laughs> I didn't know he's moving in. <laughs> Time to get started. We got another trailer coming in here. This is getting serious. Oh man, there's all our lumber. They just keep bringing trucks in here. So that's all the poles it looks like. It's exciting. Yeah. Oh my gosh, this keeps getting more and more serious. Look at this big boy coming in here. Oh, man. That's to get her done right there. They're unloading all the materials down there, packing everything. They're about to stake it off and start drilling holes for these poles. Well, we got our first poles in the ground. Lord, look how tall they are. I think the walls are 16 feet. Man, this is exciting, huh? 
golly, it's gonna be so tall. I'd rather have it too tall than not tall enough with lifts and stuff. Treated eight by eight. Yeah. <laughs> she gonna be real big. It's tall, isn't it? Yeah. I didn't really have that in my mind. It I told you, it's gonna be really tall. Yeah, 16 <laughs> feet. He said those poles are 22 feet long. He like special ordered them longer. Wow. To put more in the ground. Oh, that's good. So, I bet they'll have all the poles up today. Probably. Did you quit talking to him? Yeah. There's a bird on our GoPro out there. I just saw it. <laughs> I've been down there on and off all day, just checking with them, seeing what they're doing. I'm all interested in how this building stuff is. I grew up working on cars, man. We just didn't do building stuff. So I'm kind of learning as we go here. It's pretty neat the way they do it. They're quick, they know what they're doing. The kids are home from school. They haven't seen what? it. What? I know I've been here for one day. One day. One. Well, not even a full day yet. Uh, it's gonna be that tall. Yeah, it's gonna be 16 feet tall. Yeah. Yeah, they have to cut the tops off a little bit. But then they gotta put the pointer up on top. The pointer, also known as trusses in the normal world. So it's probably gonna be 20 something feet tall at the peak. Is this approved? Yeah, it is definitely improved. I'm excited. I'm going to organize this. I can't wait for you to. I'm going to organize this. I I'm promise. Stay out of it. I promise y'all. You're going to stay out of it? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Squeezel don't want nothing to do with it. Man, look at that. End of day one of them actually coming out here and building and they've already got all the poles up. That would took us. <laughs> forever. It would have took forever for us to do that. That's crazy. Wow. It's so big. It's like monster big, isn't it? Yeah. Looks like we're building Noah's Ark out here. Where's Mike? He must be working. He I don't know. I can't believe Mike hasn't shown up and stole some lumber or something by now. Don't fall in the hole. Look at that. And Squeezy's six feet tall, so look at that. Squeezy, I can put concrete in there. It's crazy. So they're supposed to be back tomorrow to start putting the top on it and getting all that figured out. They got the metal ord, so we're gonna match the colors to the other shop. So that'll be cool to have a baby shop and a big shop. It's gonna be the dad. And then yeah, this is the daddy, right? And that's the baby. Moving fast now, isn't it? He said maybe by the end of next week we might have it all concrete in and done. Check us out on other platforms at SleeperDude88. Day two is about to begin on them building. I've actually got to go out of town for a little bit of the stuff I got to do today. We'll see what they get done while I'm gone. We have been gone for a little over half the day. We'll see what they got done with this building. And I'm about to make some friends is what's going to happen here because we went through the big city and stopped and got them a dozen donuts. So they're going to be our best friends. By the time this thing's over with, we keep doing stuff like that. Well, they got the top rail around, didn't they? Yeah, they did. It's been working. Fucking good. It's got to make it a lot sturdier. They've been filling in the bottom of the post, maybe, too. Yeah.
the Coliseum. <laughs> the Coliseum, he's calling it down here. So looks like they got all their two by 12s up there, all their little braces and stuff, their blocks, getting ready to set their trusses on here. Dad, I'm a gladiator. I know a lot of people build this stuff out of six by six posts and two by tens, but we kind of wanted to upgrade a little bit, have something a little more sturdy just in case. You never know. Give that a wiggle, son. So they also filled in the poles at the bottom. They put concrete in them, then covered up with dirt. Then it's coming together. It's just coming together. That's very exciting. I wonder if tomorrow they're going to start putting trusses up or not. I didn't get a chance to talk to them before they left, but they were too busy eating donuts to know. We'll see you guys tomorrow. Getting started on day three. Oh man, it's getting serious. We got the truss truck here. And we got gravel coming in too. Man, one right after the other. It's gonna be a big day. Lord, this is a construction site now, isn't it? It's exciting, there's a lot going on. It's crazy. So they're gonna start dumping gravel here. Isn't that crazy how strong that hydraulics are? So this thing can go out like a hundred feet, he said, and it'll set all these things from right here. That's crazy. Scary, scary. Oh, she's swinging now. So the two end trusses are different than the rest of them. They got more wood in them to close the ends in. Man, that's so tall. I didn't expect them to bring a crane this size in here. And with them big poles there, that's gonna be really sturdy on the ends. Look at that. First truss, nailed in. That's awesome. So they got these little jigs, they just sit down on it and it automatically gets it where it needs to be. Speeds the process up a bunch. Really neat the way they do it. They got this figured out. Howard Brothers, check them out if you're in East Tennessee. We're gonna quit gawking now. <laughs> Leave them alone. It's pretty neat though watching it go up like that. Yeah, it's, awesome. it's fast too. They know what they're doing. Look, that's 23 feet. That thing's got to be 60 feet in the air right now. It's crazy tall. I can't even look up there. I know. It's incredible, really. Man, it's coming along quick. Look how far they've got already. It's only been maybe a little over an hour and they've already got all that done. That's incredible. Man, it's looking like a building, isn't it? They're already down to the last truss. Man, that was quick today. Incredible how fast these people can do it when they do it every day. We even got an audience over here now watching. Oh, Mike. <laughs> it took me five years to get to this point building myself. <laughs> well, there goes the crane truck. They got those trusses put up in two hours. Can you believe that? Golly, it took me two months to get those up there after I got out of the hospital from falling. Kids will be climbing on that, won't they? Yeah, it ain't safe. They're gonna tear the building down up there. <laughs> Oh, wow. Oh, 
Can you believe it? Gosh. Wow. This thing's massive. What you in the world? Gravel? Yeah, that, the gravel goes down before the concrete. That's incredible. How did they get this much done today? They got it done, didn't they? Looking like a building now, isn't it? Yeah. It's the end of day three of construction. So they're starting to put the gravel down now, trying to get ready for the concrete. They're hoping we can pour next week. They're starting the strips to put the metal down. Got all these strips here on the back wall. Let's see what they get done tomorrow. They're back after the rain. It's getting serious. Wonder why they need another one of them, huh? Double the quickness. They've literally been here like maybe 30 minutes. They've got pretty much all this side done already. I think what they're putting up there on the end is called fascia. Board, I believe. Man, it's fast. Looks like our metal showed up. It'll be really neat to see the metal going on this. I bet this will go up quick. Well, they're about to start doing the metal roof on this thing. It's gonna be exciting. Once they get that first piece set, it ought to go real fast. They said they're gonna try to get this one side on before they quit today. It's about the end of the day. Ralphie's already home from school. Man, that was quick, wasn't it? Them boys fly into it and just get her done. I bet it took an hour to do yeah. that. It's it crazy. So I'm so excited. I know. It's going to look like a yeah. daddy to our other shop, huh? Yeah. It looks like they did every one but the last piece. I guess I'll probably have to cut it or something. So I guess I'll do the other side in the morning. We'll have this thing dried in, huh? <laughs> oh, we got some more gravel coming in. Exciting and expensive. Beginning of day five. Look at all them leaf springs in there, it's crazy. That's a lot. Man, it's crazy to be underneath this, having an actual roof on it now. Man, this is gonna be so nice when it's done. Got all this side done now. They're working on the ends here. Man, that's a good feeling to have it in the dry now. They're putting in our drain for our wash bay here, packing in the gravel some more. And we even got a spot out here for the compressor so we can have a quieter area to film in. So that'll be nice. They're gonna pop up a water line there for me so I can plumb water through this whole thing power underground from that pole over there. Just got the roof on it, started pouring the rain. Nice to have a place out of the weather. I wish I could just go ahead and pull them cars in here, but we gotta get this concrete done. Wow. The whole roof's on now, guys. Very exciting. That's incredible. <laughs> Impeccable. The whole thing in the dry today, all the gravel's down. It's almost ready for concrete. Wow. It's so big. It poured like crazy and it's dry under here. So we got a four inch drain here and it's buried and comes all the way down to out right here. And there's something right there. Yeah, and this is gonna be our water coming in here. So we're gonna have water coming in and water going out. And how cool is it though that it's completely closed in now? Wow. I love it. Probably love it. Together. Where is the squeezy corner of this shop? Uh, we need a, like a squeezy section. Over there, over there, okay. So five yeah. days of work, isn't that incredible? Yeah, wow. So never. Oh gosh, we would have. This has be been. For yeah. Months. We would have never got it done. Think of all the equipment you have to rent to do this. Oh yeah, there's not a ton of equipment. Well, look at this. Scooter made it down here finally. Is, is this scary? one scary too? <laughs> all places are scary except for the couch, right? It's even a little bit scary. I guess we'll see you guys tomorrow. Shoot. Oh. No shoe wop needed. Bye. Day six. They're here early in the morning again. Looks like they're putting up the, I think they're called stringers on the side so they can put the metal on the side of this thing. And I don't know what else today. We'll see what they get done.
Well, they're loading up their equipment on the building here, so I think we're just gonna be waiting on concrete now, looks like. Today was only a half day, so half day Friday. You know how it is. So we got our soffit put in here, which I guess keeps critters out. I don't know how that works. That's all installed now. And they got all our inner braces put in right here to help brace everything up. So they, they brace it up all three directions, which is probably very helpful. And they said that the pad is ready now for concrete. So we're supposed to have a concrete truck come in next Thursday. So it'll be about six days before anything else happens here. You can see they already got this capped off here and ready for uh, the concrete truck to come in. So I guess next thing you'll see is a concrete truck rolling in here unless they come back before then. You guys, I think this is where we're gonna end it off at this stage right here, but we couldn't end it off without Rocky getting to see the new building for the first time. He's uh, highly interested in the animal crackers right now. <laughs> he probably don't even think about the building, does where are you he? At? It's a new shop, Rocky. Do you need a Rocky door? Yes, he needs a Rocky door. To get in and out? Huh? Do you need a Rocky door? See, we eventually want to open that gate back up and tie the fence in here where the, the goats and stuff can come all the way around the back of the building and out here in the field as well. You're spoiled is what you are. That's all you are. He's got soft wheels. He does. He's like animal crackers. That's all he's thinking. So we're going to get the kids thoughts on the building. Squeeze is a little sick today, so she's not feeling quite 100%. <laughs> I think this building is bigger than I thought, but like not as tall as I thought. I thought it was gonna be a little bit taller. I'm looking forward to washing the cars in here. I think two are gonna be down there up here. And um, I want this to have like a little squeezy corner. Maybe if we're gonna have like a second store, I want it to be up there in a red corner. And I'm gonna have like a little blanket and stuff. And I'll just, yeah, I think that built this building. It won't take that long to build. Maybe just like a few more weeks. Time for Thoughts with Ralphie. Yeah. So, the building is way bigger than I thought it would be. I thought it, see, I know it would be really big, but I just thought it would be like smaller. But I'm really excited about it because like, it's like double the size of our other one and it's way bigger. If I could change one thing about it, it would probably be, be like to have an attic or something and like the whole thing, you know? I like it, I love it. It's incredible, it's huge. I'm proud and happy that we got a bigger shop. Whoa, 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 whoa. It's approved by Ralphie. Ralphie approved. Thoughts with Wawa. This building is going to be absolutely revolutionary, I think, because one, we get to organize it, and the other shop, as you know, is absolutely, <laughs> is wrecked, okay? We have, we have filled that thing full of just crap over, you know, this last year of YouTubing, and well, it's a lot bigger than I thought it was gonna be. It's huge. As you can see, it's, there's gonna be so much more room. I'm so excited. I just can't wait to be able to come down here and work and do stuff with dad and the family, and it's just really exciting. It's a big move in our life, and I'm really so excited for this. It's crazy having two shops. It's like bigger than our house. <laughs> Oh, it's just crazy. I'm so excited to organize it. It's like the main thing. Deep thought with Taj. <laughs> oh my gosh. First of all, I'd just like to say thank you to everyone who watches our channel and supports us. And without you guys watching, we wouldn't be able to do this stuff that we do. So thank you very much for that. And when we started talking about building the shop, he was like, oh, maybe we should do like 80 feet. And then we started looking at 80 feet and I'm like, no, it needs to be bigger. Okay, well, here's a hundred feet. And I'm like, let's do bigger. He's like, 120? I was like, yeah, let's, I think that'll be good. And then now that it's here, it's like, this thing is ginormous. Like, it's pretty big. It's bigger than what I had imagined in my mind. So, very excited for it. I can't wait to uh, move our stuff over here and have it clean and organized. That would be nice. Everything takes longer than what you think. Everything costs more money than what you think. If we'd built this, like, you know, five years ago, it'd probably been, like, half the price. But we didn't, so... Here we are. <laughs> Who knows, by the end of it, we might have to sell some of our cars. We'll see, I don't know. But yeah, I'm super excited about it. Very thankful for you guys. It's crazy, this experience we're going through. So yeah, we've met a lot of great people. These builders are super nice. It's been fun getting to know them. 
and they're doing a great job so we're thankful for them so we hope to have like an area for our storage or parts that we get in when you're doing this all the time you got to have parts for upcoming vehicles you got to kind of be on the ball about what you're going to be doing next what you might need or you're going to you're going to mess up your time you're going to you know be waiting two weeks for something and need it today or whatever so we'll have a part storage i hope we have a little place for squeezy to do her arts and crafts or whatever she wants to do when she doesn't want to be working on cars because she does do arts and crafts all the time so that will be good to have her in the building with us doing that I think we'll enjoy it being over here close to the pond. It's gonna kind of block my view from the pond, from the house. Maybe I'll have me a little picnic table or something on there for our lunch breaks or whatever. We'll go eat by the pond, that'd be nice. Okay, thanks guys. That's all I can think of, I don't know what to say. I haven't had my rock star yet, so my brain's not, you know. I'm done. Oh me. This has been uh, such a big project. I don't really do well with stuff like this because we've never like built our own house or anything like that. And the only thing we've really ever built like this was our last shop. And I get really stressed out with stuff like this. I don't do well with trying to coordinate people. I'm not really a good boss. You know, I've never had to be no boss to anybody. So I'm not good at like getting the dirt guy here, getting the concrete guy here, getting the builders here, roofers, whatever. I'm really glad that we got to the stage. I feel a lot better. I wanted to make sure we got everything right and thought of everything we needed to do i asked a lot of different people who had you know their own shops and tried to think of everything i need to do to build this to get it right the first time you know yeah i never thought i would have something like this if you'd asked me two three years ago if i'd ever have something like this i would have never expected it we're just really blessed and if it wasn't for people like you this would have never been able to happen i'm kind of cheap so uh, naturally, I don't want to spend a bunch of money like this to do something, but now that we're small business owners, you know, doing our YouTube stuff, I just got to think that, you know, it's an investment in our YouTube channel. This thing's going to cost a bunch of money, you know, more money than we've ever spent on doing a project like this. Hopefully this will allow us to keep these cars in the dry so they're not rotten down to nothing and be able to get more organized to be able to store the parts we need, take better care of these cars. Because what good is it to pull these cars out of the woods and get them run just for them to sit out in the field and rot down. I really hate having a car sitting outside, so it's gonna be really nice to be able to put a bunch of vehicles in under this roof, be able to save more cars. I really can't believe we're able to do this. It's really expensive. I mean, to get to this stage right here, we probably got about $50,000 in it to get to this stage right here. You know, we had to have the dirt work done. Eight by eight poles are not cheap, but I wanted something that would last. We upgraded to two by 12s along the top instead of two by 10s. We tried to do it right build it right the first time and that's that's really not how i am <laughs> my other shop it's only 24 feet wide this shop is going to be square footage wise like three times the size of the other shop and i didn't go any wider with that shop when i built it because you know i didn't want to spend extra money and i didn't really do many extra things with that building i didn't insulate the walls or anything because i just naturally don't want to spend money like that so it's hard for me to to spend the money on this but we have to make some sacrifices to be able to do this this building's going to cost more than we made last year just trying to make an investment in the channel to where we can save more cars make better videos take care of the cars we got like i'm sitting in the wash bay right now especially in the winter time it's really hard for us to make cleanup videos because it gets dark you know at five o'clock 4 30 here if it gets windy or starts raining or it's super cold it's really hard to make a cleanup video so hopefully this will allow us to make uh, better cleanup videos with better lighting and sound having a dedicated engine room back here a clean room to build engines in definitely is going to up our quality on building engines because i have not been the best about keeping engines clean that are sitting apart in the shop or transmissions whatever and having a room for part storage that's going to be two stories eventually so we can store stuff up high and keep the shop clean i know <laughs> I know a lot of you guys really d don't like how dirty the other shop is, so we're hoping to try to keep this one a lot better and more organized. Will I fill this thing up? Will I look back in a year or two and be like, man, I should have built it bigger? Maybe. People always say you can't build them big enough, so, you know, this is stretching it. This was like all we could afford to do if you've watched our channel long enough you know that since i was 21 we followed the dave ramsey plan i got introduced to it when i was a kid and we paid off our debts way back then and just we have spent our whole life trying to pay cash for everything and stay out of debt never had a car payment and 
it's not because I, you know, was making tons of money and I wasn't. I mean, uh, when we got married, I was making $7 an hour. So it wasn't that I was always making a ton of money. We just bought things we could afford. Up until just a couple of years ago, the most expensive vehicle we had ever bought ever was $3,400. It's a big deal for us to spend this kind of money on something. I can't believe it's even a thing. It's like a dream come true to have, you know, this term is probably overused, but you know, it's my dream shop right here. It'll be super exciting to see it once we get the metal on the sides, get the doors on, but that's going to be in another video. I just appreciate all you guys watching the channel. It, it would not be possible without you. Yeah, I kind of got to pinch myself because it just doesn't seem real that we are going to be able to have a shop like this. I guess I just want to say thank you to everybody that watched our channel. If it wasn't for you guys, it wouldn't be possible. I was asking high school what I wanted to do when I grew up. And at the time, like the Boyd Coddington show just came out. That was like the first car show I remember watching. Aside from like the Power Block TV stuff on the Saturday mornings. But as far as a, a working shop like that. And I remember being asked by my teacher what I wanted to do when I grew up. And I told the teacher that I wanted to have my own show, you know, fixing hot rods. And... At the time, YouTube wasn't even a thing. It hadn't came out yet. To think that I actually got there and was able to do it is incredible to me. I mean, doing the type of videos we do, how many people get to do it? Was there a dozen people, maybe 20 people that do it for a living, the type of videos we make? And to be one of those people is just unbelievable to me that it actually worked out. It's kind of like becoming a professional basketball player or football player or something, you know. You want it, but you don't think it'll ever be real. I'm just very blessed, I guess is what I'm saying. Well, that's all I got to say about that. And that's all I have to say about that. Good job. Well guys, thank you for watching this video. Once again, it wouldn't be possible without you guys. Everybody that subscribes to our channel, everybody that comments, likes the videos, all that helps. Our members, our super thanks. Pour one out for your homies. Exactly. Drink your RC Colas, pour one out for your homies. Rocky's obviously super excited about this building, but mainly animal crackers. Well, with this building, we'll have enough room for him to have his own little corner in here, huh? 40 feet by 120 feet of room. Uh, that's going to be incredible to have triple the size of our other shop. Yeah, look at Scooter for scale there. <laughs> Definitely a big investment in our channel. I'm only a little bit scared about trying to pay for this. Bringing out the envelope. Yes, exactly. Bringing out the envelope. You can check out our second channel at... Sleepy Dude 2. Sorry. I, you, I a, she did sorry. not even participate. <laughs> you can check us out on Instagram, Facebook, and TikTok at... Sleepy Dude 88. Look at this guy. He has a depth perception Ooh. issue. He does not realize he can't reach it unless, like, he'll just keep trying forever. And he'll keep flinching too if you are hammering something. You can buy our merch down below. That'd be awesome. It really would right now. It would be real awesome yeah. if you bought our merch down below. Look great on <laughs> It'll take you to their website. You can buy a shirt, you can buy a mug. We just appreciate everybody just watches the videos. That's all you have to do. Every little bit helps though. Here you go, Wa. Here you go. Come on, nothing like RC Cola and some vanilla is mixed I'm, in there. I'm, I'm good, thank you. Right? Good. Everybody's full today? Poor Squeezy sick. I just don't really like those in general, but um, that specific flavor. Upcoming videos, we got to get on the RV floor pans or we're going to run out of time completely. I mean, we're going to yeah. be out. Listen, mm. we're going to be booking it. We got to be booking it, exactly. Yeah, we're going to be booking it. I need to do the plumbing and stuff and get the big block twin turbo Fairmont Future running. Look at this. But that's kind of what you can expect coming up, probably. We got to get the transmission fixed on the 64 Galaxy wagon as well. We got to do that. Here you go. Last one. Oh, wait. Scooter's got to get it. Come here, Scooty. Come on, buddy. Oh, my gosh. There wow. goes your finger. I know. There goes your leg. Here you go. Oh. Granny's going to be so mad at him. You can also expect a video on this when we get to the next stage. Probably after we get the concrete and doors and metal and stuff, we'll make another video. We'll keep you up to date with the progress on the building. It'll probably be a few months before we're actually in here. We'll let you know how it's coming and what it's costing. We really appreciate your support. It means the world to us. Now let's go get Vainya her sweet RC Cola. We can't find Vainya. We're going to see if the donkey will drink this. She's like, I know what's here, up. Here.
Nope. Oh, rejected like that. Can you believe that? They don't know what they're missing. Where has she been? She's been rolling in the mud somewhere. There you go. Look how much calmer she, she is, is now. So she she even it. It. She's figured out don't do it, get the bottom. Yeah, her egg. I don't know why she smacks her lips for 10 minutes afterwards. Her lips smacking good, that's why.